Oh, you and I. Yeah. Uh, Alfred Mitchell uh, is about to to read off the um, um, documents, the um, um, order, the uh, declaration order, um, and describing it. And um, John Monoa, that's me, yeah. Yeah. asking questions um, no, no. about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yep. Now we can go to the documents. Yeah. Okay. And now if we can explain it, I'll, I'll put the camera okay. on him and the documents. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me let me start with the uh, what transpired and and where I suspected uh, things weren't quite right on the th on the third of April two thousand and nineteen Wednesday. There was a um, an email from uh, Porto to Georgie Job, and this is the email. And you can see the, see the um, I'll highlight the date. The date is the third of April two thousand and nineteen, Wednesday, and and it was from um, uh, Porterho and and to others, and uh, it had included um, uh, Ripekatangi, uh, which which is. Which is Georgie there, Georgie Joe, uh, as well as as well as others, and um, why why particularly um, uh, Georgie Joe is because Georgie Joe is working with uh, Billy Takahika, and um, it's it says on the last page. Basically, this is the whole whole agenda. That uh, Porter Howe explained to Georgie Job what the in, the intent what the intent was. There we are. There we are. And it, it says the intent that uh, we need to reach the, their political party before the twelfth of, of October two thousand nineteen. So it's got here, as well as our honourable Whare Tap Oronga, that we co-create a political party named uh, Wakaminia to join the political arena of our country and to participate activity, uh, possibly blah blah blah, and by Poroho. So, so uh, uh, Georgie and Poroho and all of them had set up a body. That uh, they assume themselves as the National Walk of Uh There was never any full disclosure uh, to myself for that reason. I started to question Georgie. Um, where, where I questioned Georgie, Job, Otto Simmons, and Linda Smith. Uh, nine days after this, I uh, had a hui at um, Kapitui, Marae. It was a, it was on the 11th of April 2019 that Georgie gave me a copy of this. And when we were at Kapitui, Marae, and when I questioned uh, Georgie, Otto and Linda about the intent of um, where they were taking um, uh, 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 money they they actually shut down, Georgie actually shut down that hui and, and, and said, or oh, um, made excuses uh, to, to shut that hui down because um, I was actually making inquiries as to um, the real intent of um, Georgie, who, who had self appointed herself as the Prime Minister for the Māori government and her niece uh, at at the uh, uh, at the hui on 18th of March, when I when I, when the, I saw their PowerPoint, her niece uh, Kath uh, Hopa Pialetti has uh, uh, self-appointed herself as the uh, um, deputy prime minister of the Maori government. The Maori government. Yeah, yeah. The not the, the Maori government. The, the Maori, Maori government. Maori. Maori government. Yeah. 
So, uh, moving on from that, is that, um, is that Georgie ended up uh, getting her kapitui Fano to <coughs> basically a coup de tat uh, against myself and all that, um, saying that, uh, I, I, that I was a problem and all this and all that, uh, yet they were the problem. And it's proven to uh, the state, and um, it is is an it is an actual fact. If you look on on um, on Facebook, that uh, 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 George is always uh, sharing uh, Billy Takahika Junior's um, live lives. And all that. So okay. so she has she has been working with him. Okay. Uh, so there's never been any full disclosure to our money put of people or to our to, to our people um, of the Fakaminia Confederation of Chiefs. But anyway, we'll move on from that and, and we, we'll go to the event that took place when apparently Lady Crown tried to uh, enter the, our borders. Now what happened is there was a hui at Te Marae, Waitangi uh, with the agenda uh, for Kotahitanga with Kotahitanga with every man and their dog turned up there as well as all the hapu representatives now <clears throat> they had the porphyry on the, on the 11th of um, uh, December and then after the porphyry, I found out that um, uh, there was uh, Michael Stace and there was Alistair Waite with Harley on the other car. Those two were on the other car, but Michael Stace drove alone. Those two, those two cars went to go head to the airport to go and pick up Lady Crown. On the on the eleventh of um, December two thousand and twenty, which was a Friday, and <clears throat> what I was told is that when just before they arrived, hit um, Fangrai from Waitangi, uh, uh, they got a call from uh, Lady Crown, and Lady Crown. Uh, was blocked from entering the borders and so she she called um, for assistance uh, she called um, um, Alistair to and Alistair um, phoned uh, the um, Consulate General Secretary uh, Gregory Bowen and um, <coughs> she also contacted uh, Lady Crown also contacted uh, Stephen Katipa. Okay, and um, this is the record of it, and 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 this record is was uh, is dated the eleventh of December, Friday, two thousand and twenty, at five fourteen p.m. Now, <coughs> this is something. This was I was not. Um, Disclosed this till um, January, January 2021. But anyway, it's about the travel exemption. With uh, in regards to, um, if you look at here, this is the uh, the document that um, Stephen uh, Katipa would have sent to the um, particular. Uh, uh, well, I would I would. I would say he had sent it to Lady Crown. Um, who else he had sent to? Well, um, need, we need we need Stephen R. Katipa to um, explain where he sent this to. But anyway, um, so uh, Stephen Katipa is um, claimed to represent the Tainui Waka uh, uh, Pukirewa. Tafiti Matia Modern Corporation. So anyway, let's uh, let's move on. So so 
Lady Crown contacted both um, uh, uh, Alan Waite and Stephen Katipa. Okay, so Stephen Katipa, who is um, uh, Georgie's cousin, Georgie Job's cousin, he is also from Kapitui Marae. Okay, and and like I say, that uh, um, uh, that Georgie Job, uh, Kath Hopa that that's uh, Georgie Job's niece. Uh, her, her cousin uh, Stephen Katipa. Uh, they are working with uh, uh, Billy Takahika, hence working with uh, Michael Stace. At the time, not, uh, due to the fact that Michael Stace, um, um, uh, Alistair Waite, uh, and and all, 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 most of those of Ngāti Wiki Tōria that were up at their hui were actually members of NZPP. So they are actually part of the New Zealand government. So they're, 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 they're not part of the Whakamininga Confederation of Chiefs because we, we are private. Now, all... What what we're seeing is is a takeover from these certain ones with uh, Georgie Job, and like I explained, uh, um, Georgie Job tried to defend this um, th this action on the third of April uh, two thousand and nineteen uh, uh, email to confirm that they were setting up and using Al Tafakaminga. As the political party in, um, um, registering with the New Zealand Crown, and um, and you can see when you join the dots, you can see they 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 are all seem to be uh, uh, that Billy uh, Junior seems to be at the centre of everything. You see, because um, as as well linked with uh, Lady Crown as well. They all seem to be interlinked, all, all these people. And um, this is actually the, uh, the transcript between Alistair uh, Waite and Gregory Bowen. On the, this was taken on the 11th of December 2020. I got Alistair, uh, I got Alistair Waite to transcribe this for myself, because he, when he came, uh, asked for my assistance, he he had his, uh, he had the uh, recording, and I asked him to uh, transcribe it, because I wanted it needed to be in writing. Okay, so um, <clears throat> so I'm just trying to follow the um, the paperwork here. Now, what actually took what actually took place because of that? On the on the evening, when Michael Stace, uh, Alistair Waite, and and um, Harley came back from um, uh, Whangarei on that Friday, they had convened a hui, a, a special a special resolution hui. I was not present at this hui. It took place according to this it's White, Waitangi Special Resolution, Friday, 11th of December, 2020. Uh, uh, and this, they they set up a, a Waitangi Pa Korti at 9 p.m. Now, I go to. The, uh, I was given these uh, minutes by the admin when I was up at Waitangi, and. <clears throat> If you if you go to the second page of the minutes, it's got here the res resolution. Okay, it's got uh, Reuben Hayhe moved a special resolution that the Rangatira uh, commence e uh, email communication with Department of Immigration to ensure safe passage for Maori sovereign uh, Lady Crown.
who is travelling from Sydney, Australia to Auckland, New Zealand on Sunday the 13th of December 2020, returning on Thursday the 17th of December 2020 with Crown Suvin Immunity. And this special resolution was seconded by Tohi Ashby. And all, all, all those in favour, no objection. Special resolution was passed by majority. Okay, so it was the morning after, I mean, the, the Saturday morning after this, after that, that, um, that special um, resolution was passed, that uh, I had, um, I had three members of the admin up there approach me. I won't disclose the the, th the three names, but anyway, they approached me, and this is when I was was provided this the the special minute, the special resolution minutes was on the Saturday morning. They came, um, the three of them came looking for me and said to me, Alfred, um, you are required, um, your assistance is required. And uh, um, on asking what was it, what it was about, they said um, I needed to, to go <coughs> and see uh, Michael Stace and Alastair Wade. Well, at that time, I didn't know who Michael Stace or Alastair Wade was. <coughs> but anyway, they knew who I was. And uh, when I went. To the forum tent, they came out. Uh, it was Michael Stace and Alistair Waite together, <coughs> and it was from that, like it go back again, that um, Alistair Waite um, had had his um, mobile mobile um, phone, and he played me the recording, and it was from that that I asked him to, if he can get it transcribed. So, <coughs> so I went across to the um, motel across the road, the Waitangi uh, Motel across the road, where 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 I ha had stayed there. I think four nights. I think I think it was four nights or three nights. But uh, went went across the road to start putting the paperwork together. And after several drafts, it was several drafts because people uh, wanted input into it as of right. And after several drafts, uh, on, through the uh, the twelfth of December, as well as the following day, the thirteenth of December, uh, and, and we finally got people to to agree and accept the final draft, you know, um, <clears throat> which, <clears throat> which w when I look at it, when I did the uh, first draft on the uh, 12th of uh, December, and uh, the claims by, um, my, um, the claims by uh, Billy Takahika Jr., that he and his NCPP uh, helped put this together. That that is false. The entire document was put together by myself, except for uh, uh, um, additions like the um, the barcodes and everything and all that. That was all done by um, Michael Stace. Michael Stace being a notary, he was the one that that. Um, that notarized um, my my document. I will show you the original original document that was actually completed. This is the this this is a photocopy here of the original document that was actually finally completed, and, and um, the the fin final resolution was uh, passed on the um, on the fourteenth of um, December uh, two thousand and twenty. But anyway. I want to. I need to get back to um, 
to. Uh, we, 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 I was wanting to about about the about the minutes because um, if if you. If you if you look at the um, the the, um, the minutes that took place, that's the that's the first set of minutes. Okay, that's the first set of minutes. Um, uh, you might have. To, can you pause that? Hmm. Can you pause that so I go? Uh, I'm just just going back a bit. To the to the, the the first set of resolutions that was passed, like I had explained, on the 11th of uh, uh, December. Now I'm I'm want to go to uh, the 13th of December, which is a Sunday. Now, what transpired on that day was that um, uh, a resolution was passed again by Reuben Hayhay, who was the same person that um, passed the res resolution on the 11th of December uh, 2020. And <clears throat> so this is the, um, the minutes taken by um, the secretary inside the Whare Nui. And the, it was a special, it was, a, it was another special meeting, but this, this special meeting was only between the Hapu representatives, uh, and it, it, it didn't include it didn't include everyone else that was not a Hapu representative. And at that uh, at at that uh, uh, special hui be, uh, before all the Rangatiras, and I make a point that um, uh, Billy Takahika, who claimed to be a Rangatira, he was not at this at the special uh, meeting because he wasn't a Rangatira uh, because um, he uh, he on the day uh, set up his uh, he, he was a, he's a, a Crown agent really New Zealand Crown agent because um, he was a leader of the co-leader of the New Zealand NZPP party so you know he is foreclosed from um, being a, a, a a Kaiara Taki, um, a Hapu representative, uh, and what hap what uh, what happened is that they passed a resolution. Ruben Hayhe passed a resolution, and it's got there. Alfred to spearhead, ad admin to confirm. Okay, there was a, there was a there was a resolution passed by uh, Ruben Hayhe, and. Um, and it's got here. These and this. These are the minutes that were taken by Georgie Joe, and she's got here. Point two. Paper is being prepared to stand down New Zealand government. Alfred Mitchell tasked with preparing the document. That's it there. This one. These are Georgie's minutes. Okay. So I just wanted to make that point. Okay. So anyway. It was from that that uh, I got involved in supporting the the the, uh, the co papa to help uh, Lady Crown of the Purple Thumb to to um, to uh, because because uh, she was denied access through the borders. Now. <clears throat> The what the reason why I, I specifically wanted to mention that to show that I was given the mandate to spearhead and, and um, write this document is is because you had certain people like Reuben Hay Hay they they were, were retracting themselves trying to say well what well, on um, and, and tried he, he he tried to question me that. Um, well, on, I wasn't supposed to. Uh, what am I doing? Um, being part of the the purple thumb and all this sort of stuff and all. I had all those people um, trying to discredit myself for my association with um, uh, purple thumb, and yet uh, they 
had asked myself to assist. And that's evidence. Okay. Now, what I want to what I want to show is the bait and switch that that took place uh, on the on the twenty uh, second of December, uh, twenty twenty, when um, went down to Wellington, because um, uh, what happened is that two of us were flown down to Wellington. That is myself and my PA, um, uh, Paula Sage. Now, uh, this was paid for by um, uh, Michael Stace and Michelle Hood. They, they, um, they uh, booked and paid for our flight tickets and accommodation in Wellington and um, and it was uh, we were uh, really taken care of they they, uh, they really looked after us so so there was a two of us that flew there on the 21st of December um, arrived there uh, Michael Stace and uh, Michelle Hood picked us Picked us up at the airport, took us took us for dinner, and then the next morning had um, Tehini Farikura uh, Kingi and um, uh, Shawal uh, Kumaro from Hamilton as well. They they arrived in Wellington by flight uh, the um, 22nd of December, the morning. And, and uh, they turned up at uh, the, uh, the the hotel that we that we were staying at. Uh, we all went we all went for breakfast and all this and all that. And then after breakfast, um, my, my, Michael Stace had about um, four documents all done, and um, he he wanted myself to put my seals on each of those four documents. I think there were four, it was either four or five. And and uh, this was one of them. Okay. So so um, if you look at this, it's got it's it's got the, this is the ribbon. So you can see this one here, I'll pull it to the side. You can see this is a ribbon. See, you can see a gap there, because it's a ribbon. Okay, and and this is a photocopy of the, of the the exact document that I served. This is the writ original document that I served. Oh well, no, no, it's not the writ original. Uh, the the copies I I issued uh three copies that's right the first one was to the um, the Treasury the New Zealand Treasury the second document I served was on the Prime Minister's office and the third document I served was on the Governor General okay so so that was the reason why um, uh, Michael Stace got myself to do the other three so they are really when when you if you had to compare all all the uh the three the the other other three documents with this they 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 wouldn't they would have had um uh the receipting would be slightly different for for each document you know what what I'm trying to explain is that um um can, can can you pause it? Okay. Ah, excuse me. Oh, I I had to go go away and blow my nose. Uh, I'm not feeling well. Run down. Okay. So so now I, I'm I'm thinking back. That's right. Because I remember the time at the at the at the hotel uh, that um, Michael Stace had asked me to uh, do my thumbprinting on. 
on these seals okay so what what I think he would have done is that he would have got a whole lot of cop he would have got a number of copies of this the back part of, of this back page and he asked myself to put my three seals on each each of the each of them separately so therefore the other 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 copies one issued to the governor general uh, uh, no it was treasury first then the then the prime minister's office and then uh, um, the governor governor house they would all have the seals probably stamped in different positions and also the thumb my thumbprints would have been in slightly different positions as well as how I initialed it. H is for Hedwika, Hedwika, Ariki Nui Hedwika. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, when you, <clears throat> what I want to explain is that when you, when you, when you, uh, when you see this back page, okay, that okay I'm gonna I'm just gonna turn this back page around okay like that there's the back page okay and this is a uh, that's the photocopy of this original one here okay but it's there and the back page is like that so this is the this is the, the this is the the photocopy of my, my back page now this what I didn't discover until um, until uh, John John one or here had pointed out is that this is the back page If you notice this uh, other this other one here, it's got all our thumbprints on it and all this, just the same as this. And and there's um, Michael Stace um, thumbprint there, just like it's over here. Is Anthea Williams? Anthea Williams here, same. Okay. JC, the PM, uh, Prime Minister office, same as there. Okay, and Gregory uh, Bowen, the uh, Consulate General, Secretary of um, uh, Patsy Reddy, Governor General, there. Same, but you notice, if you notice, this, Gregory Bowen is all on the same line. Whereas the one mine was receipted is not on the same line. Okay, you, you can you can you can see it there. 